Hello and welcome to BIMobject.com. Today we are looking at Tata Steel system families and right now I am in Revit 2015 and I'm at in the BIM object application which is free to download from BIMobject.com. So today we're going to have a look at the system family range um, of different products uh, and system families are in this case walls, roofs, uh, floors, ceilings, uh, etc. And they are a certain type of file within Revit. So we're in the app, we're going to be able to download stuff straight into our projects, but let's have a look to see what's available. So I'm now having a look at all the products which are currently published on BIM Object, and there will probably be a lot more to come than we see here right now. So we're not going to have a look at the Catnic today. These are RFAs. We're going to have a look at the other objects we have. So we've got Former Wall, Trimmer Panel, Trimmer Wall, Trizomet, uh, Trizer Build, Cowzip, Comfloor. These are all system families and they all work in exactly the same way to import them into your project. So I'm going to just click on one here. We're going to have a look at the, uh, the Former Wall system here. Click on this and you will find on every single page we've got a number of descriptions, uh, some interesting links, uh, related information, classification information which is very important and the region in which these are available to be purchased. Go to the download button and here we've got uh, the, the file that we need to download and it's available in Revit 2015 and beyond. I click download and now the BIM object application uh, will open an instance uh, of Revit next to my project um, in which I can open. And this is now loaded and I can see it here. I can now select this and I can see that there are a number of thicknesses available. The 70, 90, 120 of this uh, composite panel. If I select the 120, I can press copy. I now move back into my project, which is apartment two. And I can now press paste. And this will now bring the information over from the model. I've already uh, bought it in once, so it's been duplicated and now it's placed. This means now the information is placed within my uh, project. So I'll now delete it because of course I don't need it there. And what I can do now is I can take this existing wall here and I can now turn this, this is currently a basic generic wall, um, and I can turn this into a Tata Steel wall. There we go. And this now has the information that I need in it uh, for this product. So I can scroll down, have a look at the information that I have. We've got lots of IFC parameters here. Um, I've also got some good uh, regional information which has been bought in by BIMObject.com. I've got loads of data in here such as panel thickness, length options, all this data which is very important for your structures. And then we've also got some Kobe information for the UK. And I can keep doing this. So I can go back to the BIM Object application that I have here. I very simply just click Browse. So now I'll let this load up and I can see this is almost like I'm in a web browser. So now let's have a look to see what else I have. So if I scroll down, we've got here a Comfloor system, which is a, um, a structural steel uh, flooring system. So let's grab the uh, let's grab the E60 over here. So I can download the process again. So I can go to download this. This will now download uh, the library. This will open uh, the project next to my existing project. And here I've got the floor. I can grab what I want here. So I want the comp floor. Let's have a look at the uh, maybe the 100. And again, go through the same process. And I can copy this, and I can paste it into my apartment building. And now it will bring the information across. Just place that in the model. Delete it again, and I can now grab this floor. You can see I can grab it here. It's currently a generic floor. And I can now change this to the start Tata Steel Composite Floor. Done. Again, has all the information needed in here as well. Also has structural information as well. Has information about the Tata Steel Galvanized. And also we have information in the other object, which I showed you earlier. So go back into here, into structure. And again, we've got some really good information here um, on the thickness and the material that it is. And we'll go in and get some information there from identity. The other way to bring information into this model is what we call transfer project standards. So if you click on manage and you click transfer project standards up here, it asks me to copy information from something. So I'm going to click from the flooring system here. There's lots of information um, here uh, and I can just select one or none. So if I select none, I need to find floor types, click OK. And now what Revit will do is Revit will now bring everything in. Now I've already brought this one in. 
So I'm just going to click new only for uh, the time being. And now it should have brought everything across. So if I click back on my floor, you noted earlier I only copied and pasted one across, but there were many different types. If I click this, all of the different types are now here. So you can do it either way. You can copy and paste in or you can transfer the project standards across. Again, I can select this and that's how it works. So again, download the BIM object application to find all the stuff you need for Tata Steel. Many of the Tata Steel objects are applied and delivered in this way. So download them for free today. Any questions, please let us know and have a great day.